Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Thanks to Zelvaria, a majority of the Gallian army as well as the Imperial forces left in Gallia have been taken care of by her final flame. And now we found out that a giant tank called the Marmota, led by Maximilian, is heading straight for the Gallian capital, so good times. We're going to go ahead and get into this chapter, but first, you know the drill. We're going to go ahead and go to headquarters and see what we can find. See what we have unlocked. Hopefully some orders. Orders would be good for right now. And we have almost 100,000 XP in addition. Hello again, son. I'll teach you medic request today. And what does that do? Use it to request a medic to evacuate an allied unit in critical condition. Nice. So we can evac someone in event that we can't reach them. Well, what is your decision? How much XP, sir? 15,000. Oui. Sure. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. Definitely going to save some soldiers. I hope we'll meet again. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. So that made things a little bit better. We technically have not lost one soldier in the course of this entire game, and I'm very proud of that. I mean, we've had plenty get knocked out, but none of them dead. Hey! Dropping by to read the writing on the wall? That's a good man. Oh, and how about the new rising star of Squad 7, huh? Oh, cool. Someone learned a new potential. Stories. You must be proud. I couldn't help but snipe him with a pop interview. You'll have to read it once I get it all drafted up. Radio, radio. You got any new things to read? Yes. The Citadel at Gerlandio Falls. An army relay has confirmed that Gallia took the Citadel at Gerlandio in the latest clash at Gallia's border. The erstwhile headquarters of the Imperial Command fell after the army opened its front gates with an explosive rail car and subsequently flooded inside. Though no official numbers were released, the operation cost Gallia's forces significant casualties. Yeah, the entire army. Early the following morning, a huge explosion of unknown cause raised the surrounding area, annihilating the primary division of Gallia's army with it. Commander of the Central Gallian Force, General Damon, was also lost in the blast. How tragic. At present, experts suspect an accident in the Citadel's armory as the cause, but no firm details have yet been uncovered. Indeed. Explosion, cause, still unknown. In an independent investigation to the blast at Gerlandio, our correspondent found the blast radius and conditions of the aftermath closely matched those in the Darkson incident within the Empire during e -Dub one oh, excuse me, the Dresden incident. Caused when an explosion within the arsenal at one Imperial outpost started a train reaction among weapons, gunpowder, and a massive store of ragolin. The blast erased most of Dresden and remains one of the largest ever recorded. The Gallian military has maintained its claim that an investigation is underway, offering no further comment on the matter. Eyewitness accounts confirm the characteristic blue glow of Ragnite was ple present, reinforcing the possibility of a Ragnolene explosion. Well, definitely not the case. So, come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? No, you have no more... no more orders, or reports, rather. Come back and see the writing on the wall again soon! I'll be waiting for you. Just waiting for that last one to get published there, Ellet. Alrighty. So, let's command room, see if anyone is available for recruitment. Hello, Welkin. Here to fine tune your squad. You seem in much better mood. Nope. Cool. Come back anytime you need to change your lineup, Lieutenant. Everything else that shows up is going to be if whether we unlock it, and I know there's certain people that'll show up during certain times and circumstances, but same thing with potentials being unlocked. Welcome to your worst nightmare, maggots. Now then, all you want. I've got all day. looks like we can get our snipers up to 15, and let's get our scouts up to 16. That'll just that pumps up Alicia. I'm okay with that. I got no use for tears. Sweat, sweat, sweat. 
Maybe that'll get some new potentials. Good work, maggots. You're one level closer to human. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. What we get? You learn penetration. This order allows one ally's attacks to ignore any enemy defenses. Sick. So far, so good, guys. Come back anytime you're ready to sweat. That should help out a lot, considering the fact we're about to be fighting a giant mega tank. Now, R&D facility. Let's throw that money. Welcome, bro. I'm stoked you're here, man. What can I do you for? Upgrades and lots of them, please. Added effect, cool. All set for you, bro. It's done. Now, nothing for the shock troopers. Ooh, you know, I wonder when we're actually going to be using this enhanced mortar. Here you go, bro. All done. I'm sure there's probably been a few opportunities, but I still like the lancers to have the the tank killers. It's done. This one's. Any new sniper? Nope. And like I said before, um, we did the last thing with Selvaria. We did unlock some of these, and I took care of them off camera. Yeah. Ah, uniform upgrade. Here you go, bro. Need my folks protected. All set for you, bro. It's done. By the way, I found out. Um, what I did with Selvaria is kind of similar to a way you can cheat your way through. If you have Alicia maxed up to her maximum potential, she, her that other potential that we were mentioning in the last episode, it's actually double movement. So she gets double her movement each time if her potential fires off. So that's pretty disgusting. Apparently you can do that match against Selvaria in one turn if everything goes well. So, Edelweiss. But I think we did pretty good, considering the fact we did not know that. Frame assembly. HP body. Yes, please. All set for you. Steel upgrade. Gotta make our tank tougher. More resilient. This one's perfect, bro. Ready to lay the smack down. Drive system 7. Tread defense plus 100. Now, I'm not gonna. I, I need to rethink our upgrades here. But everything looks good. We'll take care of that here in a sec, but let's see what the Shamrock can upgrade. Machine gun boost. Very cool. This one's perfect, bro. Now, drive system two, that's a three by one. Here you go, bro. All done. We have quite the war chest where we don't have to worry about money, and we need to take care of this as well for the shamrock. Now it looks like that's it. Alright. Let's go ahead and outfit our our tank with all the new things. Get you out of the way. I actually also found out that uh, named during the first part of the Grilandio fight when we were pressing the buttons to get the tracks going, we actually missed um, the named tank and actually would have hooked us up with a firing calculator for the Edelweiss. So that's unfortunate. So tread HP plus 400. And how big is that? Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do right now with these with these big parts. And double coil that gives tread defense. Oh, nice. Same size. Go ahead and put you there. 
Now, hardened plate is our critical defense. I pretty much just want the Edelweiss to be just this nasty, nasty tank of doom. And we've got a periscope for some added accuracy. And that would actually fill it up. Spare drive parts. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we won't have any extra magazines, unfortunately, but I don't know if that is particularly important right now. We'll go ahead and call that good for now. Now, the Shamrock is a little bit trickier. What I'm seeing, a lot of these parts, we gotta be really careful about fitting in. There's the firing calculator. I think I may keep that as is. Well, here. We'll do the same thing. Take out the magazine. I mean, there we go. Because I, I want the... I, stra I strangely want the shamrock to be a little bit more all-encompassing. So there's a spare belt for the tread HP. Reinforced leaf for the tread. We've got the steel alloy plate. And that is definitely better. These are tanks. These are made for this kind of thing, you know? And we don't have any extra... Can't get that extra magazine in. We do have a periscope, though. And I think we're good right there. We can't fit the firing calculator in. Well? Hmm. That puts our accuracy up at 20, though. Or at 15. I'll tell you what. We're going to go ahead and take out... That's... I hope that'll work. But let's get the firing calculator. We'll get that set down. And the periscope. It'll be accurate. And it won't have the spare belt for tread HP. But to tell you the truth, the shamrock should be getting shot that much anyway. Okay. Try and get everything set up for these final battles. Apparently there's one or two more chapters after this, and then that's all she wrote. Now, let's go to the audience hall. See what Her Highness has to give us. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, step forward. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Ah, the Gerlandio Service Medal. Be nice to look at that, because there's not really a Gerlandio left. Furthermore, for your squad's exemplary performance in the final battle, this royal award. Thank you, Your Highness. What we get? New sniper rifle. Huzzah! 10 R received. We received two of them. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. So two brand new shiny sniper rifles. I think Marina already has one of them. Let's go to the barracks and see. And Alicia... I think we're going to have Alicia still rock out that um, scout rifle. I just, it looks, it's, I think it's really, really good for him, her to have. So, we've got, yeah, the GSR-10R. So, we can actually, cool. All of our snipers are rocking out some of the best rifles, period. Cool deal. And I think that's all that we can do over here, so let's get the intro to this battle going.
the Marmota, or Momata. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, wow. Looks like a land-based battleship. I think it is, actually. Man, look what it's, it's just going through Clodden Forest, or Cloden. I love diesel punk, guys, and this is this is straight diesel punk. It hardly makes any sound too, but you can just hear the humming of those engines. <laughs> the Clodin Wildwood is but a tender flower patch before the Marmota. Marmota. Your Grace. A massive explosion was reported at the Citadel at Girlandio, sir. Our rear guard and Galia's primary force were both caught in the blast and obliterated. I see. And Selvaria has performed her duty. Now nothing remains to stay our hand. Continue the march to the Gallian capital. That's what happens when you love someone who's incapable of being loved. Or, if you love someone who's incapable of returning that love. There we go. Operation Maiden Shield. This is, must be the counter-attack. Or the counter-defense, rather. The Empire's ultimate weapon passed unhindered through the thick of Cloden's woods, said to be impenetrable to all but bird and beast and continued its juggernaut march north towards the gates of Castle Randgris. Fair enough. Leaving the former site of the Citadel at Girlendio behind, the militia raced to the capital's southern gates to intercept it. Fortunately, we had a little bit of a head start. Everyone, we've received intelligence on the weapon coming through Cloden's forest. The report identifies it as one of their most tightly guarded development projects. It closely matches plans for a terrestrial dreadnought, Marmota. So it is a land battleship. It's heavily armored and carries a host of large caliber cannons. A battleship on legs. Leave it to the imps. It's one ridiculous tank after the other from these people. Furthermore, it is likely that Maximilian is aboard the Marmota in person. Are you serious? How did he get there so quickly? Regardless, we need to stop that thing, or the capital will be in danger. The capital is in danger. Oh sure, just gotta stop it. It's a battleship, boss. How are we gonna stop it? We'll be cooperating with the Rand Grey's Royal Guard in effecting Operation Maiden's Shield. Our job is to lure the Marmota into a canyon the Guard has lined with mines. Beyond the mines, they'll be concentrating all of their firepower to stop it. Leading it into a minefield, huh? So we're the bait. I've heard worse plans, actually. Unfortunately, yes. With Galia's army vaporized, this plan is our only real option. And I'd much prefer doing this plan out of desperation than Damon being a prick and wanting to see us all dead. Once they get out on open land, there's no stopping them. It has to happen in that gully. Fair enough. A land dreadnought. I still can't even imagine. You saw your girlfriend glow blue. Welcome. It's easy to imagine. Alicia, what's wrong? You look kind of down. <sighs> you think, Welkin? It's nothing. I'm fine. Now let's go beat us up a battleship. There you go. Alicia. That's strike two, Welkin. Now, Cordelia Stand. Meanwhile, at the palace.
Highness, the Empire's dreadnought approaches at great speed. That that marching sound was weird. I thought my microphone was popping. Thank you. The Royal Guard and militia were deployed in a tandem operation, but the outlook is grim. We understand. We shall join them on the field. Oh wow. Fetch here the royal armaments and tell the castle guard to assemble outside. Your Highness, where do you intend to go? I cannot idly sit atop a throne while the nation crumbles around me. It is the office of the Archduke's duty to fight for the safety of its people. Ah, yes, but that would be inconvenient, Highness. I ask you, make no foolish choices. Borg, what is the meaning of this? You are a precious bargaining chip alive. It would not do to allow you to simply leave. Bargaining chip? You plan to sell our nation to the Empire then? That's not surprising. Look at the guy. Perish the thought, dear princess. Gallia is about to be reborn, a new child. As a glorious kingdom with me as its king. <laughs> How about that guard who looked like Beetle Bailey? Couldn't you just put a bullet in him? Apparently not. Okay guys, well we're as prepared as ever as we're ever going to be, and the first part of this battle will be diverting the Marmota. So I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, and we're going to do that and finish up the rest of this chapter in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days everyone.